The Kelly Mitchell Yard gets off to a running start on the busy day with 10 races on Friday and in the first the Yard will step out three runners. We're going to start off with Military Man and he'll be having his very first run. He's a Colt by Global View. Yes Nadine, he's quite a nice Colt. We waited all this time for him for the 1400. As he shows at work he does look, he is looking for the further distance but he's a nice sort so if not green he should run a good race. He'll race alongside two of the fairer sex. Josie Moe will be having her second start. Josie Moe, very unlucky for her first start, a change from grass to poly. She lost two lengths out the gates and then she was flying on at the end. So hoping for a better effort from her. And finally, public benefit. She was expected to improve last time out and that's exactly what she did. Public benefit, she is, she is looking for the 1400. This was a plan for her because she, she does not sprint. <laughs> but yeah, so... I think she'll be running a really decent race for us on Friday. In race two, the Derby Plate, the Yard will step out Quasimodo. Four runs for the Yard for two wins in two places. He's really doing them proud. Yeah, no, he's a smart horse. So he never makes any mistakes for us. He stays all day. Yeah, he's just got perfection and Heathcliff to beat. And I think we'll have a nice, nice race on Friday. Two runners in race three, sassy but unlucky from a wide draw last time. She ran on very well and she'll be joined by stable companion White Witch. Sassy's been putting up some great work at home. I don't think she really enjoyed the poly first time here, but uh, expecting another decent run from her. And White Witch, um, you can put a line through her last run. She was drawn on the other side of the course and she didn't enjoy it at all. So expecting a decent race from both of the fillies. A nice newcomer to the yard will step out in race four, and that's Eternity Ring, who really has taken on some fair sorts in her previous runs. Her ratings dropped really nicely, and um, she's working incredibly well at home. So expecting a nice, decent run from her to be right on top of them. Both horses trying a little bit further in the way of Hilarity and Klesiri in race five. Hilarity, this is her third run after rest, trying the 16 for the first time. She's working well at home, just hoping she'll see out the 1600. Classeri, when we took her to Cape Town, I think we left her speed in Cape Town. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and, and she's a flower alley, and the flower alley is really mature late. So, hoping she'll enjoy the 1600 for the first time. In race seven, we'll see Magnum fire. Now, this fellow is just super honest, and he is definitely an out and out stayer. I oh know Magnum you also can't fault him. He's he stays all day, really happy with his previous run. Oh, I think he'll be right about there. And the yard will step out Lady of Gold in race eight. Lady of Gold, she showed a lot of improvement last time out. She was on her way to retirement. Um, yeah, she is just drawn quite wide. She needs to overcome her draw, and I think the two thousand will suit her. Dawn of a new era will represent in race nine. Dawn of a new era, he didn't enjoy his last start on the poly for the first time. Um, he is now back on the grass and he has dropped one or two points, so hoping he can show some improvement for Friday. And finishing, the two runners, Silvery Blue, who is in really hard knocking form, and Fluid Motion, who can build on a decent post maiden run last time out. Yes, Nadine, as you said, Fluid Motion showed a good run out the maidens, expecting another decent run from her. Silvery Blue this time, we're just hoping for one better. Definitely horses that need to be worked into your perms. I think Silvery Blue, probably the stable elect, and I expect to see her right there.